more I realize that the good decisions that I made growing up in life uh, were him keeping me. Mm. Um, because uh, I've grown up and now I have grown up issues and um, or or made choices as a grown woman um, that my parents couldn't make for me and, and I've made mistakes and and grown from them and I'm just like shoot this whole time I thought that I just had the grit for it this is, this is so this is so cocky but I really want to put that out there because um there's so much that we think that that we're taking credit for and we don't realize that he was like <laughs> <laughs> behind us and around us and blocking stuff and keeping this and that and I just noticed that the more that I um, involve him in my life and in everything I do, the better it all is. Um, and I, and that's, that's really just, you know, what I could say. There are like the rules of this world, which is that if you work hard for stuff, um, then, you know, good things happen for you. But that's not necessarily true. You know, I know people who are working harder than me that haven't had breakthrough in the industry, who have been working longer and harder than me. And this is no slight to them. I'm more so highlighting the aspect of God doing what he said he would do. Mm. You know, how do you, ex how do you explain that to me? You know, mm. you could say it's luck, but how is it luck if it's exactly what he said he would do? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, somebody explained that to me and I, I'm just like, I know that God is real and I've experienced him in my life. I'm a very, um, spiritual person, spiritually sensitive, I should say. Mm -hmm. And so I needed guidance and I needed, um, I needed, uh, I needed encounters. There were certain things that I needed, um, that God provided. And because I've been exposed to all of those things, I'm like, I, I 